I'm Alec Hogg and here's Davos Diary Day 4. Well, it is Friday. We're coming to the end of the World Economic Forum. And once again, a pretty busy day. I, it was interesting to start off from a South African perspective with a press conference that I think there were two journalists at. And yet it was maybe the most enlightening and uplifting of the press conferences that I managed to attend in this whole series. It was with the Energy Minister, uh, Tina jumat Peterson, who was absolutely forthright in saying that the nuclear deal is not a go. The numbers still have to be checked. She says you've got no idea what the numbers are yet, but it will go through the same process that the renewables program has gone through. Now, those of you who know about uh, the energy equation in South Africa will know that our renewables program is one of the most admired in the world. The foreign investors are flocking around to try and get a slice of that action. It's been very well handled. So if the same people who are handling that are going to be looking at the nuclear program, I'm going to sleep better tonight. But uh, my highlight today was an interview with Pumzile Mlango Ngoka, uh, the former deputy president of South Africa, who's now one of the top five at the United Nations. She's the executive director on women's affairs for the UN, and she's been applying her doctorate in mobile technology together with leveraging the UN brand and her considerable contacts to get women's equality or gender equality as it's uh, better known uh, on the table and indeed she's now recruited 10 companies who between them have committed that by the year 2020 half their boards and half of their top management will be women. This is a huge breakthrough. Those are 10 multinational companies uh, including the likes of Twitter and Accor Hotels uh, and Barclays the bank and those uh, multinationals she hopes will be able to pioneer something that the rest of the world will continue with. Her target is to have gender equality fully entrenched in the world in 2030. This is Alec Hogg with the Davos Diary, Day 4.